most of my research has been involved um, over the years with the mothers and the women who have problems sleeping because so many researchers have paid attention to babies. Most parents are asking, how long before the baby sleeps through the night? What about the baby's sleep? And for me, it's always been, how can I help parents, especially mothers, new mothers, get a good night's sleep? We track the mothers and the baby's sleep patterns using a, a wrist monitor device. It's an accelerometer that can be placed on the wrist and it actually re records movement and the speed of movement in, in different planes. And the algorithm is such that you can pretty much determine whether they're awake or asleep by the speed of the movement because we all move a little bit when we sleep. It's not going to actually show that we woke up but that we moved. We put the accelerometer monitor on the mother's wrist and on the baby's ankle and we record their sleep with that. We're interested in the mom's and the baby's uh, sleep and if mom is actually sleeping when the baby sleeps or if they're out of sync. The takeaway from my research for, for parents and, and babies uh, and young families starting out is that it's important to pay attention to what you're doing a third of your life, which is sleeping, um, hopefully, and that that affects how you interact during the daytime. And if you want to be good parents, good partners, good employees, you need to pay attention to the sleep that you get at night. What's next for this research is actually trying to convince women that during pregnancy they should be sleeping for two we talk a lot about you know eating for two, getting a good diet, but that they really need to be sleeping for two and how important it is not just for the mother-baby interactions and bonding and so on, but actually for the labor and delivery um, birth outcomes. The, the women who were getting less than six hours of sleep also had 10 hours longer labor um, than the women getting seven hours or more sleep. So I think telling women that if they could sleep for two, um, that they would have shorter labors and are less likely to have a cesarean birth, that would be um, where I'd like to go next.